Hey guys, I am Thor Clover, and in this video I will show you how to use Lightmatica so you can make schematics on your island on Hypixel Skyblock. Please note that this is not a guide on how to download the mod. Downloading the mod itself is very very simple, and I will put a link here in the description. So what you want to do once you have it downloaded is, the first thing you want to do is get a stick, not a magical wand or anything, just a completely normal stick. When you hold it, you will see that you have nine modes in the bottom left corner. So there's nine modes, but you will only be able to use three of those modes here on Hypixel Skyblock. One of the modes you will be able to use is Edix Schematic. The other one, when you hold down CTRL, you can scroll with your mouse wheel, is Area Selection, and then you have Schematic Placement. Those are the three modes you are able to use. Alright, so once you have found a build that you would like to copy, what you want to do is go into the mode 1 out of 9, area selection, and basically just go and click, right click one of the blocks, and then you left click the other block. Then you have the entire area selected, as you can see here it is highlighted, and if you want to save that schematic, what you want to do is open the schematic map is by clicking M, then you will see this menu and you can click on the area editor and then click save schematic. Now let's say that you didn't have this uh, opportunity to click a block up here, but it were looking more like you can only click like one of the blocks and there were no block up here. What you want to do in that case is just go to like this corner, click there, then you have this area selected and then click M area editor and then just make it taller here at the Y and just make it as tall as, as you wish so you are sure that the entire thing is within the highlighted area like that. Alright, so now we're going to make this uh, I'm going to show the tutorial using this build right here. You we'll click M, Area Editor, Save Schematic, give it a name. I'm going to name this Giggity and Save Schematic. Then we have the schematic called Giggity somewhere here and it is right there. Once you have highlighted an area and you are ready to place it then you go into the M key, go to loaded, uh, no, sorry, load schematics, find the one that you just named, in this case it's Giggity, and you click load schematics, load schematic. All right, then you want to move it to the place where you actually want to build it, and in order to move around the schematic that you have just loaded, you hold down CTRL and use your mouse wheel until you are at schematic placement, and now you can hold down Alt, and move it around. It will move in the direction that you face and um, you'll just have to use the, the mouse uh, wheel in order to move it. So let's say I want it down here. I'll be doing it like that. If I want to face it another direction, I will hold down MC and then I will have to click, no sorry, I will hold down MP and then I will click configure and rotate it and then it will be rotating in, uh, in different directions. So just like that. Let's say that this is the area I want to build it in and I'm ready, I now have it, I have it placed exactly as I want. This is the perfect placement. Then I just have to go ahead and get the materials. If you want a list of the materials you need, uh, like something to show you what is in the highlighted area, you have, you, you have this, this within Lightmatica. You just have to click ML and you can see the complete list of items you need to build this structure. When you have all the items, you go ahead and you will click MC and then you will go into the render layers and you click on single layer and try to start at the very, very bottom. The reason you want to start at the bottom is because it's much more simple and easy to do it that way because then you will not make any mistakes and with big structures, it can be very, very hard if you were to just rush into everything at once. So that's the reason you want to start with one layer at a time. Once you, once you click MC and go into the single layer, you can move this up and down by left and right clicking and you just make one layer at a time. Now let's say that I were to start right here. As you can see, I need to place a cobblestone right here. If I place a, a, a block in an area where, the, it, where it isn't highlighted, it will be purple. 
and if I place a block where there needs to be a block but it's the wrong block it will be red. For this one it will not be highlighted in any color because it's placed correctly. Let's now say that I place a stair for example over here. So I place the right block but I move it in the wrong way then it will be yellow and those are the colors you will you will most likely see when you go into a build. So that is pretty much everything and I um, wish you the best of luck. If you have any questions just come and say hello to me on my island at visitpuretail2 or you can hop in my discord server and ask me any question there. I will more than happily help you with everything that I can. Of course there is a lot of things that you can, can search uh, within Lightmatica, but you won't use any of the other features very much. So this is the most simple guide out there. It will be able to help you get a build started and you can pretty much build anything this way. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to subscribe.